Hello, hello Capricorn, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your Full Moon August reading. So welcome if you are returning to my channel and welcome, welcome if you are new. Today we're going to take a look at the Full Moon which lands on around August 22nd. We're going to take a look at what you'll be celebrating, what your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest strengths are. We'll get a message from Spirit directly for you beautiful Capricorns. We'll take a look at how you've grown and action steps that you can take to continue on your soul's journey. So again, welcome. If you're interested in signing up for a free reading or even a personal reading, you can find both of those links in the description box below. So we're going to dive right in for you and take a look at what you're celebrating. We're celebrating uh, accomplishment here. The King of Ariel is the King of Pentacles. So this is bossing up energy. Somebody who's very stable, very successful, very powerful. It says your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely. Beautiful energy here. So congratulations for those of you that are bossing up. Uh, the King of Pentacles is somebody who can be an entrepreneur. He is very successful, very stable, fully committed to something that he is uh, passionately prosperous regarding. Uh, something with his money here, he's built his way to the top and that's what I'm feeling. You can see there's a treasure chest next to him. He's smiling, he's on top of his game here. He builds empires. Could be somebody who's very disciplined in finances as well. Even a real estate broker, a business investor, a property expert, or even a financial advisor. Maybe that's the field that you are going in. Or maybe you have just purchased a home, bought a, a went through a loan process here, maybe a vehicle, uh, or worked with um, a business investor to accomplish something. There's something very beautiful in this energy, very powerful, but a lot of success coming in. So congratulations here, Capricorn, because I'm loving where this is going for you. All right, let's take a look and clarify this energy here. Clarify this energy. Okay, uh, we do have, very interesting. Okay, we have the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands is one of my favorite cards in the whole Minor Arcana because it is the card of success, accomplishment, being raised up. It's a successful conclusion, especially after a difficult period of time in your life. I feel like you're finally celebrating bossing up in this position here, something you've been waiting on. I feel like you received some sort of news that came in quick for you with the Knight of Wands. And I feel like for a while now, prior to getting this news, you may have been in a toxic situation, whether that was at work or with a person here, that really left you feeling a little bit... Um, on the out with the five of pentacles energy showing up here the five of pentacles is all about uh, a difficult health or even in your finances as well and i feel like something was really bogging you down but this is the end of a hardship end of a toxic cycle for you uh the devil card shows up and i feel like there could have been a little bit of uh, materialism, even manipulation or lies. It could even be some sort of temptation, anything that tempts you that isn't in your highest interest. It could even be a way of thinking. And I feel like this is your energy uh, prior to receiving some sort of news here regarding accomplishment, being raised up. Uh, so I'm loving this for you. Beautiful. So again, congratulations here uh, moving forward in this new direction. Let's take a look at what is your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest strengths, my beautiful Capricorns. Let's take a look here and see what your strengths are. I'm getting the name Reynolds. Reynolds, uh, maybe that's your name, maybe it's a street, maybe it's a place here. Uh, Reynolds, please take that as it resonates for you. Oh wow, six of Ariel here, beautiful. So another, another card talking about uh, materialism. But the six of cups, it says material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. The six of pentacles is a beautiful energy because uh, this is your strength here. And your strength is being kind and is giving and receiving with a grateful heart here. And I feel like uh, unexpected resources are coming in. And I feel like you're tapping into spirit's gift to 
you is these unexpected resources or something that comes in out of the blue that really you were hoping for at one point or another, but you really weren't expecting to happen. So let's clarify this energy for you, Capricorn, because I'm loving the Six of Pentacles. It's help from others. It's equal give and take. It's generosity. It could even be some sort of you know, assistance or somebody helping you out in ways that were unexpected. All right, Ooh, let me grab that card one moment. Oh, okay, we have the magician showing up here. So the magician showing up in your strength is all about you tapping into the resources. When I say resources, this is you tapping into spirits, uh, manifesting what spirit has to offer, those beautiful gifts, the natural talents, you taking action and actually really believing in yourself, Capricorn. So beautiful, beautiful strengths to have. I'm loving that. Let's take a look at messages that spirit has directly for my beautiful Capricorns. All right, find your center. Find your center. All right, what else do you have for my beautiful Capricorn spirit? We have light. We have light. Uh, very interesting. Uh, when I what spirit is showing me is a lighthouse, actually a lighthouse. Uh, it could be uh, a name. It could be an actual lighthouse. Maybe you live by one, and uh, it could be you seeing things from a higher perspective as well. So light lighthouse. Again, please take that as it resonates, as it won't for all of you. Okay, maybe you like lighthouses or have pictures of them, but we have find your center. And it says here, your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? Yeah, check in with yourself. Uh, you can see here that the heart the chakra energy is being it's spinning out here but i feel like there's something with divine timing uh something that again is unexpected coming in for you and it's at the perfect timing is actually what i'm hearing but make sure you're checking in with your stress levels your anxiety for some of you you may be uh very much focused on uh, building something building an empire at this time or building stability towards something or someone so make sure again that you are uh, taking care of your own needs at this time and knowing that everything is happening just as it is supposed to at this time we have light imagine yourself as being composed of energy and light because in reality that's precisely what you are you are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance this is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are wow so both of those cards kind of go hand in hand on uh, remembering to center your energy to take care of yourself during this time here and um, to focus on your needs as well because I feel like a lot of people especially in this king of pentacles might be relying on you might be depending on you and you may be taking on a lot of added stress here um, but make sure that you're centering and taking time for yourself we do have choices when you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. Yeah. So again, um, choices. Seeing uh, the responsibility that you have here because it looks like you're taking on some sort of a new responsibility here and utilizing that tap into your spiritual side here and be able to m make positive choices moving forward and I feel like that's the message spirit is saying for you is apply it positively in your world. And then next up we have give back, give back and it's very interesting because this is your hidden or your untapped spiritual gift this is your greatest strength here and this is kind of what this means it's that equal give and take today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve it is about giving back without any thoughts or expectations of getting anything in return reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today 
So what I'm getting from this card as well, it could be even a family member, it could be somebody at work, it could be somebody at the grocery store that uh, may seem like they're, you know, their life is hectic at this time. Maybe they have screaming children or maybe they, uh, everything that they're touch is, you know, crashing or maybe they don't have enough money um, to buy something that they truly need. So give back in ways where you're giving without receiving because I feel like, again, that's your greatest strength is to help out when needed and to be grateful for everything that, uh, you know, everything that you touch pretty much is what Spirit is saying here. All right, let's take a look and see how you've grown during this moon cycle. Spirit, can you please tell me how my beautiful Capricorn has grown during this moon cycle? Again, full moon, August 22nd, flowing into that full moon in, um, in September. Oh, wow, leap of faith here. We have the full energy. Believe in yourself, listen to your heart, and do what gives you joy. So a lot of you that are bossing up or becoming an entrepreneur, or maybe you're just in a position at work that you feel like you are on top of your game. For those of you that are in a relationship or looking for a relationship here, you're finally believing in your self-worth at this time, and uh, you're listening to your heart, and you're doing what makes you happy, and you're loyal. You can see here that the dog is next to him, uh, loyal to himself and loyal to others, and that's why people look up to you here, Capricorn, is you have a beautiful emanating energy that that can't help but shine light. You happen to give. I feel like you're the kind of person that would give the shirt off your back to help another person as well. And if that doesn't sound like you, that is a great strength that you carry inside you. The leap of faith is all about uh, being able to take a leap of faith into a, a new beginning. Take a chance on something. Something that's very spontaneous. Something that could be innocent as well or fresh. And I feel like that's how you've grown is because you've uh, overcome any fears that maybe were holding you back in a situation here and you're able to take the leap moving forward uh, aside from any challenges that come your way and you're building yourself to the top here, especially with that King of Pentacles showing up. You're very stable, abundant, prosperous. You've worked your way because you've put in the discipline, but you've set aside fear. So let's tune into this energy and clarify this card a little bit more spirit can you please tell me about the full energy showing up for my beautiful capricorn let's clarify this leap of faith let's clarify how you've grown during this moon cycle we have the king of wands showing up so possibly if this is either somebody in your energy showing up in reverse it's somebody who is very uh, inflexible could be a little bit egotistical maybe even a little bit hard to reach at times can be a little bit explosive a little bit angry um tends to be very can be passionate and sexual but usually uh, his needs come first not anybody else's so either this is somebody's energy that you moved on from or this is your own energy Capricorn. So any of those traits there that you had, maybe you were the person that was hard to reach because maybe you were building an empire with that King of Pentacles. Uh, maybe you were uh, trying to, maybe you were inflexible, really just set on one way, your way or the highway here, or this is somebody again in your energy. But I feel like uh, you've come a long way. Again, either leaving this person in the past, and I, I am getting a strong energy energy that you did carry the traits of the king of wand in reverse and I feeling mostly um, maybe that you were just hard to reach or you were just focused so much on something that maybe you did set others aside but I feel like that's how you've grown is because you're not this person anymore or you're not surrounding yourself with this energy anymore of the king of wands in reverse the king of wands in the up right now is entrepreneur again a leader successful he's a motivational can be very motivational as well and a very beautiful adventurous warm influencer in the upright position and i feel like that's how you've grown you have went from this energy to this energy again whether that is you or somebody in your field here uh let's take a leap and uh let's let's take a leap let's take a look and clarify the king of wands spirit can you tell me a little more about the king of wands showing up for Capricorn all right how would you like thank you okay we have the ace of wands so again uh, chasing your dreams going all in this is you how you've grown during the cycle is you took on some sort of beautiful new passionate idea 
or a relationship here. You're feeling inspired. Your creativity is on fire. You're feeling like there's a new sense of purpose once again in a situation here. And it's causing for you to celebrate and wanting to share with others. Share with your soul tribe, your family, your community. Um, share your passion with others and celebrate with them here. Next we, oh my gosh, you have another ace here. Wow. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. You're finally doing something or you're with someone that's more uh, compassionate, more, there's a lot of self-love here, recognizing that you deserve worth and you are worthy of it. You're very um, intuitive here. This could be somebody in your energy as well that's helped you gain wisdom and gain clarity on this new beginning. It could be a business partner. It could be a new romantic relationship or it could be somebody you work with that's very intuitive. I feel like there's a psychic connection or psychic bond between you and another person here as well because we have uh, the King of Pentacles, King of Wands, and Queen of Cups showing up here. And next we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new beginning in prosperity, wealth, health, career, abundance. It's some sort of new opportunity uh, that that is being um, uplifted at this time. Something that is emotionally fulfilling to you. Something that uh, you could be in the caring profession or taking care of people. However that looks like to you here is the energy I'm picking up on. So wow, you have grown a lot and I feel like there's a lot of new doors that are opening up and people that are willing to kind of come in and help, help you achieve that beautiful success. So let's take a look at action steps, Capricorn, that you can take during this uh, during this time to move forward on your soul's journey. So let's take a look at action steps that will help you move forward. Okay, we do have vegetarian or vegan. So we'll talk about nutrition. We'll talk about a little bit of diet. All right, thank you, Spirit. We have emotional sensitivity right on top of this vegan card, okay? So we're going to tune in. Uh, it says fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. So for a lot of you, you may be needing to focus on your diet at this time. It doesn't mean that you have to go full out vegan or vegetarian, although some of you may be. But it's really saying eat, uh, put better things into your body is what I'm getting because you are feeling a little more emotionally sensitive, especially with that queen of cups showing up. It says honor and respect your deep sensitivity. It is a gift to all. You may be building an empire or building a business uh, that really is helping others. And you may be focusing on what others put into their bodies as well. It could be nutrition as well. Um, but emotional sensitivity is something to be honored not pushed away and I feel like you're opening yourself up to that more and more so that's something that you can continue to do uh, Capricorn to continue on your path we have vacuum away fear Call upon Archangel Michael and Raphael to lift your fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, this situation, and everyone involved. Yeah, move forward. That's exactly what this card is saying. Uh, you've grown because you have set aside fear. You vacuumed away fear, and you're taking leaps into things that you probably never thought that you would leap into because maybe you thought you couldn't do it, or it wouldn't be successful, or maybe it wasn't the right time whatever it is for you here you're vacuuming away fear and you're moving forward some of you are working with crystals at this time the energy of crystals supports you and helps you with your present situation okay they actually want me to um, pull a crystal from from here I feel okay Right, right off the bat, uh, if you can see here, this beautiful purple uh, crystal here is called Shugalite. Shugalite or Shugalite. Uh, please look that up if you're unfamiliar with this energy. But I feel like this has to do uh, as well with the third eye chakra and manifesting the life that you desire. And it's also uh, it's telling me something about releasing fears, releasing blockages, and being able to connect to your intuition as well. So Shugalite, uh, S-U-G. I-L-I-T-E, Shugalite, I believe is the pronunciation and the spelling for that. Um, so again, many of you are working with crystals at this time. It says the energy of crystals supports you and helps you with your present situation. I'm, ha I'm seeing somebody wrapping crystals. Maybe you wrap crystal jewelry, uh, or this is something that maybe you've recently discovered here. Maybe it's what you're building 
uh, your business on, but please take it as it resonates here. And lastly, before we close down your reading, okay, all right, uh, I was going to dive into that, but they're talking about bloodstone. So uh, for some of you, uh, pay attention to um, maybe you're getting your blood checked out at this time. Maybe you're doing something with DNA, like ancestry uh, stuff with DNA. Um, but they're, they're telling me something with blood work or blood DNA. Uh, please take that as it resonates. It's just a message from spirit. If there's any uh, anything that you need to seek professionally regarding health, please do. Um, but there is something with blood tests coming up and bloodstone. So uh, maybe if that is you, you can work with bloodstone to help activate and help clear anything that is blocking um, anything with your blood. All right. So lastly here, soul truth. Let's get a message. So this is a question or a phrase that I really want you to tune into Capricorn and even pause the video or write down and really reflect on the answers that come to you at this time. All right. It says, how does my body want to move today? When we move, we change our state and raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a channel for more energy. Are you moving your body daily? Are you passionate about it? Is it time to try something new? Today's soul action. How does your body want to move today? Listen and joyfully do. So wow, this not only is talking about, you know, um, taking care of yourself, taking care of your body, but it's about getting out and moving your body, getting that flow going. Maybe you felt a little bit stagnant for a while here, and that may have something to do with blood. So again, if that is you, um, please, please get that looked at or uh, focus on healing away any fear, fear base that is, um, putting some sort of a blockage in your energy, in your chi. So Capricorn, I hope this resonates with you. If so, please feel free to hit that like, share, subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment. I do read all your comments. It does help me connect with your energy. And I am grateful for each and every one of you. And I look forward to tuning into your energy again. Lots of love.